transforming may to might in reported advice. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will dive into a fascinating aspect of English language learning, reported speech. Specifically, we'll talk about reporting advice, with a particular focus on how the verb may changes to might in reported advice. Let's unravel this mystery together. Before we move to our main topic, let's quickly revisit what reported speech is. In English, when we want to tell someone what another person said, we usually use reported speech or indirect speech. For example, if your friend Anna says, I am going to the park, you might later tell someone else. Anna said that she was going to the park. Note the change from am to was. This is a part of reported speech. Now, let's narrow down to reporting advice. When we share what advice someone gave, we're using reported speech. For instance, if your doctor said, you should exercise daily, in reported speech, we would say, my doctor advised that I should exercise daily. The transformation from may to might often confuses English learners, but it's actually quite simple. When we use may in direct speech to give advice, it turns into might in reported speech. Let's illustrate this with an example. Imagine a teacher tells a student, you may want to revise this chapter for the test. If the student later tells his friend about this advice, he would say, the teacher advised that I might want to revise this chapter for the test. Remember, the best way to grasp this concept is by practicing. So, try creating your own sentences, first using may in direct advice, and then turn them into reported speech using might. Here's another example, direct speech. You may find this book useful for your project. Reported speech. He suggested that I might find this book useful for my project. Thank you for joining us in today's journey into the world of reported speech. We hope this video has clarified how the verb may transforms into might in reported advice. Keep practicing, and soon, it will become second nature to you. Stay curious, and keep exploring the English language. Happy learning, and we'll see you in our next video.